you are transported to year zero with any object from the present with you. Which item do you choose to make people lose their minds the most? I'd bring a bicycle. Nobody would ever be able to catch me. They'd be in awe of my ability to travel anywhere I wanted 10x faster than them for free and not have to feed and train a horse. The problem with many devices is the battery. Bicycles don't need batteries. But what are you going to do if you get a flat tire? Bring a bike with solid rubber tires instead of ones that depend on air. Also, I'd get a single gear track bike. A mountain bike would be more useful on the dirt roads, but the gears would be a nightmare to repair. I bring the book, How to Invent Everything, by Ryan North. I'm a time traveler. Seems to be an appropriate choice. Was just thinking of this book. Really want to read it sometime. I'm not an avid reader, but I picked this up the other day and wasn't able to put it down. Highly recommend it as it's the perfect mix of informative and humorous. I'm seeing two books on Amazon. One of them is How to Invent Everything, Rebuild All of Civilization, with 96% fewer catastrophes this time. Is it a different book? You don't need to bring anything to make them lose their minds. If my studies have taught me anything, it's that when doing a time warp, it's the pelvic thrust that really drives them insane. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the re i i i t Wikipedia on an e-ink display, powered by a hand crank. How big is Wikipedia? Lead hula hoop. Not the answer I was expecting. But man would people lose their minds at that shit. That would be goddamn hilarious. Actually, this would be awful. Imo, you transport back, put on a mind-blowing light show, and then only have a hula hoop to defend yourself as the town mobs you and drags you off to be burned for your witchery, that or they start worshipping you, like you're some god coming to visit them, I mean, no matter how blown your mind is the first time you see a lead hula hoop, unless you up your game after a while, it'll get old soon, oh great god, please show us more of your miracles, ah, uh, sure, hula hoops dude, is that really all you got, kazoo, for obvious reasons, obviously, jupiter, Jupiter's an object from the present. Trust me, it's gonna make waves. Monkey poor curls just sent back with a statuette of Zeus. Or the actual god Jupiter, who was the true god all along. A camera. And when I show them their picture, I tell them I've captured their soul. Then they kill you and smash the camera. Humanity then never invents a camera, because it captures souls. Good job. R slash them and key spore. There's an old story I heard about an interview with a centenarian after the moon landing. They asked this little old lady what the greatest leap forward she'd witnessed was in these last 100 years as the world moved from horses to automobiles. The jet age. The nuclear age. And then the space age. And her reply was the mop. When she was a little girl they had to scrub the floor on their hands and knees. Then someone attached a handle to the scrub brushes and women could wash the floor standing up. It was the single greatest development in her lifetime. This thing, the stick attached to a scrub brush, impacted her life more than anything else from Einstein to Henry Ford. Please don't tell me your answer is a mop. No, just the stick. They already have the brush. And this is my broomstick. Alright you primitive screwheads. Listen up. As many spices and seasonings as I could in their modern day little shaky containers. To say I would be a rich man would be an understatement. Behold, a thimble of powdered nutmeg and 20 cloves. You could choose which lord to turf out when the king asks you which estate you'd like. The concept of thievery was invented way before year zero. Just an FYI. Showing up out of nowhere. Knowing no one and looking weird and defenseless while holding immeasurable wealth in an easily transferable form is a bad idea for pretty much any point in human history. Not only that. But considering that outside of large cities, villagers often knew each other, you'd be considered a vagabond. Some stranger who appears out of nowhere with no connections at all, lost, unable to speak our language, and wearing funny clothes, must be trouble. A laser pointer with a solar battery, I'm gonna scare the shit out of some people with a harmless beam of light, or attract giant cat-like creatures who will eventually work out you are the source of the red light that they can't touch. But they can touch you. If the point is to blow people's minds, I'd take a gold-plated Apache helicopter and materialize in year zero at the top of Mount Olympus. 
I'd fly my golden chariot. Circling Athens a few times so everyone notices. Land it at the Parthenon. And emerge in a flight suit. Mind's blown. You know how to fly an Apache helicopter? No. That will make it more interesting. Good point. Time traveling can become a bit mundane otherwise. Probably hastily pick something up at the pharmacy toy aisle. Before I become the fourth king to present Jesus with a gift. And they brought him gifts of frankincense. Meh. Gold. And this weird ass squishy ball thing with these crazy friggin spikes all over it. Apostrophe. I want every depiction of the nativity scene to involve a fidget spinner. The perfect balance between the holy trinity. A shit ton of cocaine. F yes. Snorting cocaine and getting busy with the Roman soldiers in the bathhouse is every gay man's fantasy. Username checks out. A lighter. If Hocus Pocus taught me anything. It's that's making fire in your hands will freak people out. Also I'd probably die without one. I was thinking a Costco jumbo box of matches. Hente body pillows. I mean. It's probably a smarter idea than bringing a phone or whatever other piece of technology that needs internet and has a battery life. Why is a phone such a popular answer? Because it's a computer that can do things that would take ages to do by hand. Loaded up with math software and math and science books, with lots of diagrams, and change history. Then it would be significantly better to bring a rugged laptop with a backpack full of spare batteries. I would sure as shit, forget to download one or more apps from the store. But with modern storage devices I could clone the entire Ubuntu repository onto a single drive. Download the entire Reti of Wikipedia and the US patent catalog while I'm at it. In short. Cell phones are incredibly bad for this kind of no network, no grid situation with their short battery lives and extremely limited storage. Not to mention they are pretty fragile. Why not just bring a solar charger? They exist and last I checked sun was definitely around in 0 AD, but don't quote me on that. A map of the world. Roman Empire in America. I thought if this too. Something like a detailed geological survey map of the world. In the right hands would be incredibly powerful. You could find paths through mountains, efficient reed routes, and undiscovered lands. With a little study you could locate resources. The edge this would give someone over people without any means to accurately map would be pretty mind-blowing. Yeah something like a topographical map of the world plus map of rich mineral deposits and mines. That would be incredibly powerful to the ancient world. Calped kickstart the industrial revolution. Maybe in a different continent, just to see how it goes. Finally invent alchemy and magic instead of that fucking science. It's about fucking time, if you ask me. Sick of all this logical. Physics shit that. I want the unexplainable. But what if they just say you're bullshitting them and decapitate you? Grey's Olympics Almanac. Complete Olympics statistics 1 to 50 AD. Just don't let Biff get his hands on it. Biffus Tanus. Flex seal your door is splitting down the middle? There's gaps in your houses? Your cart is broken? Don't you guys worry. I got you covered. To show you the power of flex seal. I sawed Noah's Ark in half. That's a lot of damage. And I repaired it with only flex tape. 30 minutes later it's not as effective as I first thought. You need to use multiple layers. You must construct additional layers. My prosthetic leg for my amputation. Just being alive would be a feat and the leg would be the icing on the cake. Backslash the leg would be the icing on the cake. Well now you have to bring ingredients for a cake too. I mean they had to have cake at that time right? My 30 second search says that cakes originated in ancient Egypt. So I guess they did have cakes. Probably weren't good ones though. Well, antibiotics and medicines in general. Because if I don't. I'll probably kill everyone with all the diseases that I will bring from the future. Also, they will likely kill you. Basically Jesus story. Did he bring antibiotics from the future? English author Michael Moorcock wrote a story on this sort of idea. Essentially a psychologist travels back in time to witness Christ in action only to find Jesus. One of Mary and Joseph's many children. Profoundly mentally and physically disabled. After much weirdness the psychologist starts curing people of being possessed by demons using the power of Jung thus founding Christianity. One strange story that I read when I was 13 and in Catholic school, that was in the early 80s, so I may be remembering it wrong, was called Behold the Man I think. Well, 
The time machine would likely work as well as anything else. I can't believe nobody else, including me, has thought of this. What if there's no time machine? It's just fucking magic? What then smarty science man? Then I choose to take a time machine with me. For real. I'd probably get real bored of year zero pretty quickly. Yeah. Hit the Jesus attraction. Then blow that pop stand. This made me have an obnoxious laugh. Jesus attraction may be the funniest label I've ever seen for his shindig. You've inspired me to use it in the future. This is my boomstick. S smart top of the line. Shop smart. Shop S smart. You primitive screwheads. The Lincoln Memorial. You never listed a size constraint. A gigantic marble Abraham Lincoln is now hidden somewhere in Australia. Having sunk into the dirt, that was too weak to hold it. Imagine archaeologists finding a perfect duplicate of the Lincoln Memorial in Australia dating 2000 years old. What would the public reaction be? There would only be a 100 year period where they both exist. Then I get sent back in time with the statue. The real question is how much does the USA flip their shit when Lincoln vanishes? Secondly we then start worrying about the poor person who unearths him. Meanwhile I've been dead for 1960 years or something, or crushed by the statue upon arrival in the past, so I get away with it scot-free. What happens depends on if it's unearthed before or after the memorial is built, and before or after it disappears. If it was before it was built maybe you've created a bootstrap paradox. If they both exist then it will be a giant conspiracy. If it's found after it disappeared, I, E, modern times, people will have thought it was transported. At least until science shows it's been buried there for 2000 years. A good chisel. Going to go make some cave writings with a bunch of info on chemistry. Extending into a little of quantum mechanics. About to confuse the f out of historians. Edit. Yes I realize when year zero is. The point of caves is twofold. One is that I can do it in peace. The other is, so preservation and location aren't an issue. Writing it on paper, could easily get burned or lost. A thorough carving should last, although I may need to do multiple caves in case one collapses. Saying I'd need to bring a chisel is a joke, that my whole goal when going back is to f with present day historians. As for chemistry it's, because I just got my degree in it, and I'm working on my masters. I wouldn't remember everything. But almost all of chemistry is very new relative to math. So I'd know enough to really mess with people. Pretty much everything I know was discovered in the last hundred years. And definitely in the last 500. As for the quantum mechanics. It's because the wave equation is simpler to draw than an atom. This is by far my favorite answer. But people nowadays would totally claim it as a hoax. Or aliens. An atom bomb is sure to make everyone lose their mind. A Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier complete with nuclear powerhouse and all the bells and whistles, planes, choppers, boats, were you by any chance, dressed as a pirate in McDonald's in Oregon on Saturday, no joke, a guy dressed as a pirate in McDonald's asked me, if I could take one item back in history, what would it be, and then he proceeded to tell me he'd take an aircraft carrier, I sure hope you pulled a sir, this is a Wendy's apostrophe on them, or oh well, McDonald's. I'd bring a saxophone and become the coolest cat this side of the Silk Road. A book of math, physics, and some engineering projects from around the Industrial Revolution. All written in Latin. Also enough gold to get me to Rome. Do you read Latin? Because that going to be pretty frustrating if you don't. Just claim it was a gift from the gods. Ez. My guitar. I won't be able to do much with a cell phone or a gun long term. But with 21st century instrument craftsmanship, I imagine I can consistently wow people. You could be the first annoying guy who plays his guitar at parties. Toilet paper. It even made people lose their minds in 2020. God. That feels like a year ago. Right? A lighter. Or flashlight. Or one of those little dinosaurs. And you put them in water and they magically grow bigger. Or a tampon. My dude only thinking about men. But so, I'm not sure it would matter what I took back with me. My body carries thousands of bacteria and pathogens against which the immune systems of the people I will encounter have no conceivable defense. I will quite literally be a walking plague, bringing death and destruction anywhere I go. I can't bring enough medicine 
to help even one hundredth of the people I'm likely to encounter. Even if I could, my reputation would precede me, eventually, and I would be killed from a distance and likely burned. My time among the ancients would be characterized by unavoidable tragedy and pain and, since I speak no language spoken by them, I would be incapable even of warning them of the calamity I both contain and, sadly, for all intents and purposes, have become. Therefore, if I absolutely must be transported back, and cannot simply refuse the time travel, I must choose a boat to bring along. Although I will almost certainly go mad due to lack of companionship, I'll do my best to find a deserted island with some kind of wildlife susceptible to domestication, and do my best to survive for my allotted span. Cursing those who send me back, and reciting to myself, occasionally, those meager scraps of poetry I once memorized as a child, never suspecting that they would ever be my only connection to that other world, the one that seems like a dream. Now, before the Isle of Pigs, which, although my contemporaries will never know it, will be until the moment of my death the Isle where humanity's future waits. Write a book please. A printout of Wikipedia pages detailing major events that would happen in the next 100 years, including details of solar eclipses and storms and natural disasters. Then I'd pretend to predict those happening. Gonna be fun seeing everyone lose their minds. Oh I think I may know what Nostradamus did there. One fully loaded a Brahms tank. Great out of fuel in one day that was fun. Fear powered by gas turbines so in essence, if you can find a large amount of any flammable liquid you're fine. I'm going to activate hard mode on this one, and say an ear of con. I can probably make all other sorts of things like penicillin, to cure the plague and vaccines for stuff like smallpox. Corn will change everything. A Rubik's cube, and when I solve it, I will be their king. Also bring instructions to solve the thing. Concept, a Rubik's cube with the instructions on how to solve it inside. It only opens up when solved. It comes scrambled. Good luck. Probably some fake magic equipment. Shit I could be Jesus too right after he died. Jesus too. Christian Boogaloo. My desktop computer. Like just the physical computer would blow their fucking minds. The symmetrical design. Hard lines. Plastic. Metal etc. Would look alien as fuck. I don't know how much more their minds would be blown if I could also somehow sneak in a monitor and about 50 solar panel chargers to power it on and then show them my desktop background, and then a game, and some porn.